They're on the run. The manhunt is on. And the inmates apparently got that like a hell of a head start. We're told they've actually been on the run for five nights now. They broke out of the county jail in Pine Bluff on Saturday night. But they weren't discovered missing until they did a head check Monday morning. Don't ask. Why do you, why, why only, you know, Saturday to Monday, and a head check is Monday. That's 36 hours later. Uh, I have their names. It's Noah Rausch is the guy on the right, the white guy. And then Jatonia Bryant is the black guy on the left. Bryant is being held on suspicion of capital murder. Rausch was being held on suspicion of burglary and theft, but also a person of interest in a homicide from two years ago. And police, of course, with, you know, charges like that are saying they're dangerous. But as for how they got out, they say they they busted up a shower room ceiling and then went out through a hole in the roof. That's the kind of stuff that makes my blood boil. There is only a $2,500 reward being offered right now, but it could go up. I am joined now by Major John Bean. He's operations commander at the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. Major Bean, I just, I can't for the life of me understand how there's a head count, not for 36 hours after these guys went missing. And it makes me think they knew, they knew when to strike so that there would be this 36 hour long spate until the head count. Do we have anything new about the search for them at this point? At, at this point, we're still uh, running down leads as we speak right now. We have uh, our law enforcement personnel as well as other agencies that have been helping. They're running down leads as we speak. One of them was homeless. Roush, I think, was uh, was homeless, right? So in that respect, that makes me think he may have a network out on the streets. And and I'm wondering what what the authorities are doing to sort of, you know, ply that that network and figure out whether they can get some help there. Yes, ma'am. And that network's pretty broad. When someone's homeless, uh, if you have, we have uh, abandoned schools in our areas, uh, abandoned houses uh, that have been walked through today, as well of a, as a mall that's been searched twice. Um, we have been in contact with people that he has been associates with. Uh, that's, in fact, one of the leads that's running, we're running down right now is, is uh, involving an associate that it is with them possibly with them. Are these two friends? Like, will they be together? Are you looking for them together? Or do you think they split up? Uh, no, man, we believe they, they've split up. So we have mm. uh, two teams that are out uh, simultaneously looking for both of them. What do you want to tell viewers out there who might be watching uh, if they even dare to lend a hand to either of these two guys? Uh, I want to let them know that there are criminal charges that are going to come down. Uh, anyone that... Uh, interferes with the apprehension of someone uh, in Mr. Bryant's case, since he is being charged with a class Y felony, anyone that assists him is committing a class B felony. Uh, for Mr. Roush, uh, depending on the activity that's involved, it could be a felony as well. Uh, but we uh, will surely uh, be going after the people that have tried to assist them. We believe they're still in the area, still in within our jurisdiction. Yeah, and as I read the law down there, even if they uh, tell a little lie, that's uh, that's part of the harboring. So um, yes. I hope you guys catch your man. I mean, seriously, these guys could be really dangerous with the charges they're facing. Major Bean, will you keep us updated on this? Yes, ma'am, I sure will. Okay, and I'll trade you one. Um, we'll let you. We'll let our audience know uh, the info for the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. It's eight seven zero five four one. Five three zero zero again. Jefferson's County Sheriff's Office eight seven zero five four one fifty three hundred. Call if you know anything about these two. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.